to YouTube. Today we're going to learn about the out of stock control feature. Now, have you ever had an item where you know you're going to be getting more inventory in, but when your item sells out of stock, the eBay system just ends the listing and then you either have to relist it or you have to recreate it. You lose all that sales history. People can't see how many of your items were being purchased. I know it's happened to me. I'm sure it's happened to you. Well, there's a great feature on eBay that is for your good till canceled items and it's called out of stock control. What happens is, as the title suggests, you have control of your items when your stock goes out. So if you had a good till canceled item up and it had maybe a quantity of 10 items and over the course of a month or a couple months, your quantity goes down to zero, when you have out of stock control turned on, that listing does not actually end like it used to. What's gonna happen is it's gonna be hidden on the back end from your buyers so if anyone's doing a search for your similar type item, so hats, you know, or whatever, your product is not going to show up in the search result, but it will not be an ended listing. You'll still be able to see it as part of your active items. Now, the benefit here is that when you get your stock back in, you know, you make a call to your vendor, you say, hey, I need 10 more, and your vendor ships them to you. When you get that in, you can revise that currently active item, and suddenly your item's going to be visible again to buyers. They'll still be able to see how much of your product you've sold. You don't lose your place within your best match. It's really handy. The way that you turn this on is you're going to go to your account tab and select site preferences. When you get to site preferences, you want to go to the sell your item form and listings. You're going to click on show. And you'll see there's an area, use the out of stock option. And you can either select it or unselect it. Now, the thing you want to keep in mind with out of stock control is it will apply to every good till canceled listing you have. So if you do have good till canceled listings that you're not going to replenish later on, you'll have to check on those periodically within your active view and manually end any items whose quantity is at zero that you don't plan on restocking. But it's really easy to turn it on or off. Select it for yes, unselect it for no. Click apply to apply it to all of your items and it happens that quickly. Now, one of the ways that you can tell after this has been done, one of the ways that you can look through your items to see which items are active with a quantity of zero, you're going to go to your selling manager or selling manager pro active view. So you can click your my eBay. Gonna go to active. You're going to change your status to out of stock. And this is going to show you what items you have that are currently active but have a quantity of zero. So you click on it, select search. And in this case, I have one item that I sold not too long ago. I had it on good till canceled. And my available quantity is zero. This is a good till canceled listing. I don't anticipate getting more of this product in, so I can go ahead and end it. And that item is now ended. Now, if you're using the good till canceled, um, if you have good till canceled items and you're using the out of stock control feature, you're going to want to make sure that you check on that periodically because otherwise every 30 days you will be accruing an insertion fee regardless of whether or not you actually have quantity associated with those items. And that's how you set up your out of stock control. Um, I'm sure you can see from the tutorial here uh, the benefits that it could have for you and your items. Keep watching for more videos on how to build up your eBay arsenal.